At some point or another, you're probably going to find yourself having to deal with a pesky hole in the wall. We're turning to teacher and amateur carpenter Timothy Borisarix to show us how to properly patch one. First step, measure it. This hole end to end is about two inches by two inches. We decided to turn the hole into a square so it's easier to work with. Now it's time to cut out the square. You don't have to be super accurate. You just want to be somewhat straight. And there we are. Next step, cut the patch. Timothy says a four by four inch hole gets a six by six inch patch. How hard could that be, right? Give it a good push down. Yeah, that's a little harder than I thought. Okay. All right, I'm going to measure out the back of my new patch. This extra inch is going to give me a flap that I can use to attach to the wall with. Break the piece almost all the way off, only leaving the paper. And there we go. We're going to give this a difficulty level of one and a half. Next, commitment. Timothy says it'll take about two hours with drying time. And cost for this project is about 50 bucks. Moving on. Timothy says the most difficult part of this project is this battle. So I thought I'd give it a try. The trick, he says, nice, thin coats. If you put on too much at once, you're going to get bubbling, you're going to get areas that don't dry right. Let that dry, then give it one or two more coats, sand it down, and there you go. Now you're ready to paint. I'm Christina Nsinga, and that's this week's Escape to Home. You can find step-by-step -step instructions for this project at News12.com and clicking on the Escape to Home section. We also want to see your DIY projects. While you're on our website, click on today's story and fill out the form to submit your photos.